Like, if you're not good at the game, you're actually going to survive that situation. Because you're not going to look to min-max what you can get away with. I love doing that, man. I love doing that. That's so funny. It just fucking auto them to death. Inexperienced support player. Doesn't know what fucking Ezreal does, level 1. Oh, I really thought he was going to flash them. My PTA also ran out. I could have flash autoed. Uh, and then queued, but... I didn't want to flip it, just in case he flashes my Q and survives. I mean, kids support be here. Uh, jungle, sorry. You know what? I'm just going to play like jungle is here. Because every time I fucking play this League of Legends game... Every time I play this League of Legends game, there is a jungler in my asshole every fucking 20 seconds when I'm streaming. So, let me just play like this. I'm trying to hit them around the wave. I probably shouldn't have used my ward like this if I'm fucking thinking the jungler's here. Hello? Yeah, I mean jungler is here for sure. Like, Kha'Zix is absolutely here. Like, they wouldn't be playing like this for no reason. The thing is, I'm not going tier build, so I'm, like, being chilling, not buying tier. But, you know, if Diego doesn't want to come and help us, then we just have to recall and drop, like, 60 million CS because of this guy. Like, look, he's going to dive top again. So Kha'Zix can be here all he wants. But the issue is... Wow, Echo played that so well, man. Well played to Echo. I mean, he saved us so hard. I can't even complain. Well played to Echo. He can take the cannon. Fuck it. Good job, man. Yo, you good, Rakan? Is it still worth your flash for hers? No. Not when the jungle is popping into me. In fact, we shouldn't have even played aggressively like that and killed the pike level 1. Because, guys, if you want to play consistent League of Legends in the current meta, so until Season 14, or actually next patch, so until 13-20, not Season 14, you always want to adapt your laning phase to what the enemy jungler wants to do. Always. So I actually griefed going for this all in here, and then, like, chasing the Syndra and taking a tower shot was, like, the worst decision I could have ever made. Because I wasn't healthy enough to crash the wave because the jungler's uh, threat on me. So now, as you can see, I've just, like, put myself down 6 million CS just because... I'm being an ape. You know what I mean? White on that packs. I don't know the changes. They're just nothing. Jungle. Jungle is getting nerfed. Essentially. So now she's like three levels up on me. It's not going to change the jungle power level, I swear. Right? It's set off with it. Guys, I am so fucking tired of people just like looking at map sweeping systematic changes and thinking they know how it's going to affect the game. Like, remember when people said side lane speeding up is going to destroy League of Legends and there's going to be absolutely no, like, strategic play in League anymore? I know everyone was just completely wrong and no one was even close and people wanted to boycott League of Legends. Echo is your mid, by the way. Yeah, I know. Which is why I'm saying it was so well played from him to look for a play like that. I'm writing an SN, I'll send it to you and I won't read it. Because I don't, like, when it comes to, like, theoretics, with changes as large and expansive and holistic as that, there is no, like, there is no SA you can give me that is relevant to the, you know, realistic landscape of what the game's going to look like as soon as the changes go through. I guarantee you. Like, when everyone... Do you remember when the AD carry item overhaul came through? And they were reading about the new Gwinsus and Kraken Slayer. And they're like, what the fuck? AD carry's so broken now! And then, literally, a patch in, people were like, wait. 
Wait, Riot nerfed AD carry actually. Wait, what? You know what I mean? Like, time and time and time and time and time again, people are just completely wrong. And I wish I had... Uh, 100 more gold here. My CS is kind of fucking garbage. Because then I can go for an Essence Reaver. But I just have to base whether I like it or not. What the fuck, Winston's so broken once they had no one's going to stress him? Yeah, and then they saw the LDR changes. And every tank was like, oh my god, tanks are going to be fucking the worst role in the game. I mean, you know, people really play tanks right now but it didn't make ldr any more broken than it really was it's basically the same fucking item they're like what big mixed damage on every item no way how can we tank the ad carries and they just lit across the board every ad carry in the game did less damage than the patch before people have no idea man i promise you you need to experience the game in reality and like see how it actually plays to know what the changes are going to do there's too many variables to account for. Too many, too many. And that's something I want people to learn, to be patient with. Is like, it's, of course Riot gets things wrong. I'm not trying to suck Riot's dick or like be scared to criticize them. I criticize them all the fucking time, but people just jump at the fucking first opportunity they have at their like gut reaction to fucking certain changes. And then it turns out they're completely wrong every fucking time without fail. You know what it reminds me of? You know when, um, you know when, like, pro matches get played, and then you have coaches saying, ah, uh, it's so done for X team, this draft is so fucking hard won, and, like, there's absolutely nothing they could do, they could drool all over their keyboards and still win because of the draft, and then it turns out the draft gap and the game was won on the completely other side because there were so many things that they didn't account for, regardless of how, like, intelligent you were about your analysis. It, it, it's just, that's just the nature of numbers, guys, like, it's not possible. Like, the amount of times I've seen LS tweets, like, oh, GG to this team, there's no way they can win with this draft gap. Actually, I'm gonna give it to Pike. Pike. Fuck, nice. I was hoping the Pike Ignite would kill me, though. I don't know, I feel like I was pretty right with my instant visceral reaction to the ping changes. Yeah, I mean, some of them are fucking horrible. But the thing is... Ping changes aren't holistically intertwined with the other variables included in a game of League of Legends as anything else. Like, they're an isolated component of League of Legends. You know what I mean? So, like, they're wrong, but it's easy to tell that they're going to be wrong, you know, because it doesn't, um, like, include many other variables. In your opinion, how would abilities damage turrets change the game? It would be stupid. <laughs> I think mages would become a bit broken then, because then they have a free way to side lane and just one-shot towers with the amount of AP and damage they can get on their abilities. I mean, think about Ezreal for fuck's sake, just queuing towers from outside range, and it, it just doesn't. The league isn't designed that way. Hang versus Swan Gankers also made me think more about my web management because at least we'll punish Lantern tomorrow. I want to be so happy. You know what I don't understand as well is like. The players that just want their shit buffed 24-7, I never understood. Why do you want your game to just be, like, handed to you on a, like, on a spoon? Why do you want to be spoon-fed that shit? Any game I've ever played in my life, I've never wanted to be like... Oh, I hope this game gets made easy for me, you know? Like, I want it to be difficult, for example. Like, I want it to be hard and skillful to kill someone in the tower like that. Like, you're pissed faker, you know what I mean? But, um... Yeah, when people say this, like, oh, I want my ability to just fucking one-shot someone instantaneously. It's like, I don't get it. Why would you want that? <laughs> you stop losing everything. Which is how it is, man. This is how it is. I knew she was going to juke this way with my ulti, and then she's too panicked juking this side that she has to move back under the tower for my last cube. It pisses me off. Hey, you can do it too, bro. You just need to... The thing is, like, everything I do when I'm playing... The... I... Okay, let me, let, me, let me say this. The way that I have develops like the thought process to aim my skill shots so accurately is the way i described it when i was first learning is you really need to fight your intuition 
because everything in you screams that you want to aim at where they are or aim at the direction they're moving to. Like, it's always just there. And I have, like, developed such a strong sense for this that I, like, fight my intuition and know, no, they're going to, they have to juke in a different direction. Like, they have to. And then it's like, sometimes I see them walking, like, for example, this way, and I'm like, oh, I just want to aim in that line. And I'm like, no, I want to aim backwards instead. It doesn't make any sense. And then they walk into it. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of? Do you guys ever watch, like, high-level Janners? I know this sounds troll. But do you ever watch high-level Janners? Where they, like, break their own intuition and just fire their NATO at a seemingly completely, com like, brain-dead direction. Where you're like, why would they aim it that way? And they're fighting their intuition to do that. It's the same thing. It's the exact same thing I'm thinking when I am, um, like... How do I aim a skill shot when I'm playing Ezreal? Apo, yeah. No, bro, I don't watch Reki. I mean, I'm just wondering if you've, like, played with them, for example. I know Syndra needs to walk back into bot lane here, but I don't know where she is, roughly. I don't really want to blind jump over the wall. I also just missed a play because I'm an ape, and I'm going to use my E and then die because Pike's going to come over the wall here. But I promise you, if you're able to like fight your intuition and just be like, okay, no, they're going to juke, they're going to juke, they're going to juke, and aim for the juke, like you'll look. You see this? You see how I aim to the side there? Look, I'll show you again. Look, look, look. You see what I mean? Like I don't, I don't just fucking aim right in the middle of where they are. Like I'm always aiming to the left or the right. You know what I mean? Bro, stop cheating. It's, it's just how it is. But the thing is, there's no one that's played Ezreal as much as I have that has that, like, sort of skill. So, like, here, I'm going to aim, like, wider, you know? Okay, so it didn't it didn't land. Um, and then maybe he's going to come back for me over the wall or something for a hook here, maybe. Okay, he's just flexing now. I, I'm just trying to fucking explain. Loki, 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 Loki. Like, like, <laughs> right. Oh, hello. Random pedophile in the bush. Oh, yeah. So, like, there she had to juke down, right? Like, she has no choice. She has to juke down. Uh, Kha'Zix is coming for me, so I'm a bit fucked. Can we will this bush in case Pike walks into it with his W? No, I don't know. While he does something, he has the best of the world out. Legit. But like this predictive nature of aiming skill shots is something I would say I unironically have the best intuition for in the world. Like I, I don't even I don't even give a fuck. Like I if you wanna fucking tell me someone else is better at that shit than I am, like I I will legit take that to my grave, no cap. Like Hang Clue is a better Ezreal than me, absolutely. But when it comes to this like bullshit hacking predictive shit that I do with my cues, like legit, I'm telling you no one comes close. And clue, not even. Unironically. Oh, I'm better. Okay, that guy that guy's better. That's the one guy that can say it. Like he's gonna juke down. Okay, so he went up. Oh shit. Okay, come down, thank you. I'll flash over. Ah, got Kazakh splash though. We got a side tower as well. I was not thinking, I was too busy sucking my own dick. Listen, when you're in the process of sucking dick, make sure you do it right, okay? And I was doing it right. I got so distracted, I didn't even think about where the fuck the enemies were. Divine AD King. Bro, that guy is... Someone that talks to me quite often is a friend of mine, and he, he you know... Enjoys my Ezreal. Words of wisdom right there? Yeah, legit. I'm a fucking inter, why did I do that? Oh man, you know what I really disliked? Do you know what build I liked on Ezreal back in the day was um, when you could go Navori with Crown, because Navori wasn't a mythic, right? And you were so fucking tanky to assassins, but you had like infinite damage. Obviously only if you played from ahead, if you were playing from behind, it was fucking useless. But now this is a mythic. It's like, I'm kind of fucked in terms of defensive options, because I really don't want to go shield though. That item is fucking garbage. For the options you could have as Ezreal, you know? I'm unironically gonna go collect the fun. Because my main is back on child, finally. Took me some fucking while. But, 
I can have some fun. I don't really give a fuck about what happens on this account, even though it's like 60% win rate. Right? Good full crit as well? Yeah, I'm going to, actually. I'm going to. I'm going to go like uh, Collector or Kraken right now. I think probably Collector's better, and then BT, and then maybe Shield Bow lost. What is going on over here? Like, how is this... What is my Rakan doing? Like what? <laughs> I gotta walk away from the... I mean, I have Navori, so we can do Nash if we want, but I think my Echo and my top lane being dead here is not ideal. <laughs> Runans is better? Fuck off. APS when? Probably never. Although, I'm going to put out a video on a strat, a new laning tech that I think is actually really OP. And I tried it last game, in the Vayne game. It didn't really work out for me, but... I think into certain matchups, there is a new tech that I've discovered. Oh man. Fuck is that? Fuck this more damage. We'll see you later. Cause this could be selfing at me, so. How does he get that far, man? Like seriously, how does he get that far? While stealth? Like from that bush to here, and I can't see him. Like this bush to here. That's so crazy. Fuck that champion, man. Dark seal? Blue smite effect? Does he have it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blue smite, yeah. That shit speeds you up for like 90%. I swear to God, it's so dumb, bro. Whoa! Look at the jukes! Go, go, go! What? Why did Ben use E instead of just another auto attack? Why would you use a conditional ability that does less damage than just a guaranteed fucking kill? It's okay. That guy. Play does not weaken. Honestly, can we all agree that jungle doesn't deserve nerfs? It's probably... It's... Yeah! Yeah, jungle, bro. It doesn't deserve nerfs. Dipsy, you're gonna fucking... You're gonna fucking... I'm gonna go into a blood rage. I don't want to do that on stream. I swear to god, people just get so used to the status quo that they don't realize that the game isn't supposed to be the, the way it is right now. Like, le jungle is not supposed to be the way that it is right now, but people are just, like, used to it. Why am I team so fucking useless? I just dodged literally every ability they fired at me and everyone on my team died. Like how? Kha'Zix was on me, solo. Pike uses hook on me. Pike uses ulti on me. Like what? That doesn't look good. Oh no. Like she's gonna juke down here. Cap. <laughs> Complete cap. But you gotta try. That's the thing. Like, you gotta try. See, that's me breaking my intuition. So I was completely fucking wrong, and I was like, oh, I should just aim at her in that situation. Um, and I was like, okay, let me just fucking aim in a wild location, you know what I mean? And it ended up being wrong, but you gotta try. Otherwise, you never end up hitting the, like, the cues that I hit, you know? I don't know what anyone on my team is fucking doing, really. I am learning from the last situation, and I'm not going to walk anywhere near that bush, because he can apparently fly to me from Narnia. Also, why do they have three dragons when we... Enemy bot lane is 2 and 13? Does anyone know? Why do they have three dragons when enemy bot lane is uh, 2 and 13?
does he throw at me? I mean, Lee Sin was just split pushing that whole time. I have a split push Lee Sin side lane, apparently. I really want a medicine get collector. That is not collector, what the fuck am I looking at? Okay, world's worst Israel build, engaged. Wee -wee -wee. Get the police on me, bro. What the fuck am I looking at right now? Collector third item. Cap. In a fight, so much shit on your screen. Where should I pay attention to? Value not die yourself. And just hit what you can without dying. Okay, like the number one thing I would want to train AD carries to do in team fighting is like skill shot awareness. Or like threat awareness. That's the collector damage for you, baby. Whoa, what are we doing? Help me, help me, help me. Like, what is she doing? She's just running it down, bro. What the fuck? What are they all doing? Kill them! We're losing to this shit, bro. Tali could be on the dragon, actually. She has no seraphs, though. Yo, Dragon Meleda, how you doing, Mr. Billy Cypher? Jesus Christ, it's been a while, man. Have you even been on Spear Shot stream? I've, I don't know what happened. I've not been watching it much. There's something about him being in Korea, the time zone. It, it doesn't, it's not the same for me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. They're gonna fucking choke it. Oh my god, they're drooling all over themselves. Okay, so it's Talia! I can see the dribble from here! Let's go, we got one dragon. Nice, now to stop the next fucking 17. Maybe I just go for shield by now, unironically. Let's try it. Let's fucking try it. Who said you were scripting? Um, Agarin, the rank one Korea and EU West player. Not a lot. He's also slacking quite a bit, is he? I mean, I don't blame him, man. If I went to fucking Korea and I did that subathon for as long as he did and then, like, streamed 12 hours and shit. Bro, I barely... Bro, I stream five hours when I'm in the comfort of my own home. Obviously, I have my own issues, but... I did yeah, legit. I fucking... I wouldn't, man. Who fucking took the blue? Oh, Lee. Actually, Lee's fine. Lee with the blue buff, it's sure. Stream pumps uh, decent, right? On this build? No. I'm going full motherfucking crit out here, bruh. We're going full bomber. But please, can someone escort me on midwaves? Okay, we see Kha'Zix, then I'm fine now. People, this is the one thing I don't like about AD Carry is there are a lot of drafts where you kind of just need to be escorted around all the fucking time. Like 24-7. And your team doesn't understand that. And then you're like, you can't take prior on waves that you should be because your team's just not with you. But they don't know that they should have to follow you around the map. So I don't blame them either. They should know, but they don't. Would you ever do a career trip? Absolutely, but I'm poor as shit, so. Watch this damage. This is worry damage. Um, that's not who I wanted to hit. I can't get it. Oh, what just happened? Collect the gap. Just do the dragon, let them come in, man. I'm Israel. Do the dragon and let them come in. Just do the dragon and let them come in. Fucking hell, why are you trying to fight them on their turns? Talia wants you to fucking chase her. As a champion, she's designed to make it so that you chase her, not that she moves forward, guys. Yeah, let's chase the Tali. Oh, okay. You guys for a flash, that's fine, though. You see how I had patience there? I didn't walk up. Because I need my team to enter for me. I'm going to go over this wall. What in the Duke of Nations? I wish I had flash there. He's going to go up here, I think. Cap. Oh, that's a fucking Syndra. Wait, what if I just did this? I'm fucking gone. I'm out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. Let me get the fifth iron. Dragon, look at... The damage this build does is so fucking crazy to me. I always forget how much damage this does if you're ahead. Like, are you seeing how much damage I'm fucking dealing? It's crazy, no? Let me get one more quick talk. Why is messages red? Who's... Oh, it's just you can do that. Hi, bro. How's the game going today? How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, I have played two games so far. 1-1, one, one, lost one. Um, and this is my third game, so... 
I just buffered a blast cone with my fucking E. I'm personally always running Trinity in my own Cyrildus. Uh, you should always go Trinity. Don't don't worry about what I'm doing right now. I'm just cooking because I'm having fun on my smoke account. While my main is back in shell. Mummy! We need to, I can't die now. I need to pay for the fucking dragon. Jesus Christ, she did way more damage than, to me than I expected. She also has Zonyas and I have no fucking pen. Fair enough. No, trust me. Trinity Force is the best build. Like, if I wanted to win this game... Actually, no, to be honest. Okay. The correct build for this build is Essence, Mana Moon, uh, Duskblade. Because you really don't want to get in range to skirmish with Navori, with uh, Vayne, Kha'Zix, Talia, or Syndra. Uh, so Duskblade allows you to play like Burst from range. Uh, so that's the build you should go in this game. And I know I just said go Trinity every game, and I could easily go Trinity in this game and still carry it. But it's just a small, small min-max. But I highly recommend for most players to go Trinity Force. Essence Reaver is too high risk. And then the build I'm going now is the highest risk possible. But uh, I felt like it. We should just do the dragon, man. Please, go do the dragon. Go solo it while I hold them in mid. Collect on is so funny. Yeah, I know. My build looks fucking wild, doesn't it? What is this about? You slag. Hit that Q. You got infinite haste. Bomp. Meanwhile, I'm predicting people going left, right, solo killing under the tower, hitting them while they're stealth. Lee Sin can't hit a guy that's fucking recalling in a bush. Oh, what's happening over here? Oh, shit. Well, we got the dragon, so it's not the end of the world. Now she's been spawning either. He's blind, give him a rake, sure. I'm, I'm dying of disease, give me a break. Whoa! Promiscu! Promiscu! <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. I got fucking Zekka in his prime on my team on the Echo right now or something. Damage check. I have not done any damage. Dragger Ego Arc? What do you mean? Like, how can you miss that Q? Like, that's not legal. That guy needs some Viagra with how short his fucking. Whatever. Rakan did nothing in that fight? Yeah, I know. What do I even want last night in BT? I could go BT, but I might want to go LDR because base armor is getting kind of high right now. Well, how much does she have? She has 100 base armor. I think if I actually want any real semblance of damage. Okay, so if you did want to go this build for fun, normally what you should do is you should go Cyrildas instead of uh, LDR, because obviously you're only building this when they're squishy. Um, so I should probably go the anti-heal one instead, to be honest, right? But um, yeah, you should go LDR, but I'm just going full crit for the memes so I can clickbait it on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. I don't know why I said that with the most deadpan voice ever. I, I got his AI generated drag guard. This isn't even the real me you're seeing right now. Hello, YouTube. Wait, should I try Storm Razor? Just for shits and giggles? What can I build right now? What's the cheapest shit I can get? I mean, it is a rune hunt, but I'm not building a fucking rune hunt. <laughs> you see the Crubble Cop AI? Yeah, that's what I'm referencing. He's doing AI too now, bro. After everyone fucking flamed him for him. That guy, that is, that's wild. Infinite money hack. Kha'Zix, don't kill me on midway, please. Like, that would be really fucking evil of you to do. Hey, hey, if Syndra's here, yeah. Oh, bye-bye. I'm going over to your city. <laughs> AI content. Nah, that ain't me. Echo is gonna smoke their base if we can hold them. Oh! Never mind. 
This is what I mean, like, people don't escort on midway. So, like, in realistically, in this situation, if I wanted to make the correct play here, I would either, one, be sitting all the way over here doing nothing, or I would just be dropping mid wave, which is going to die to the super minion to randomly be with my team, you know? But as I said, Echo is just going to fucking end this game straight up. If they're still on Nash, especially. Bow! Hey, the minions, leave him alone, bro. No way they're just chilling on the Nash, right? Is it a fucking Storm Razor angle? No, no, no. I, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I need to go then. I really wanted to go Storm Razor, though. I'm not going to lie to you. That video was complete. I was pretty sick. I would never been able to guess. No, no. I knew immediately. But that's... I don't know. Maybe you don't watch, like, or interact with that world of things, like AI content and stuff, but you can tell. Look at my Q damage, yeah? You ready? This is what the fucking Navori damage peak can look like when you have six items. If I had BT, it'd be even more. I wish I didn't have to go shield by, but this item is looking fucking useless. I swear to God, it hasn't blocked any damage for me. Or, like, I'm just dying through it anyway. So, if I do get the hit now, like, you... It, it's absurd. I've never seen a Q do so much. What the fuck? That's, that's the build, man. Again. Oh. That guy unironically got swatted. Like a bug. Why didn't she tumble? Okay, when Vayne doesn't have ulti, then I can actually play the game. But if she has ulti, then it's so hard for me to hit her. Wait, when did they get Nash? Oh yeah, when we're coming into. How about, guys, we don't give um, Dragon? I think... I think play it safe. I think play it safe. Just play it safe, man. You never know if we can end or not. I know we have like three inhibs taken and they're going to farm up, but... I don't know. As us three, who have to run melee range and we don't have key abilities or flashes, then I think a dragon here is better. But this is why I prefer going Sereldas when um, you go this full crit build is one. They're squishy, so going LDR is useless. And most likely your anti-heal component is going to be useless. Two, it gives you enough haste, extra haste, at this point. Um, because you don't get much haste from going crit items, right? Even though you have Navori, you want you still want a little bit of haste. And three, the slow, when you have such low cooldowns with Navori, is like fucking OP. You're like minigun, and they can't dodge it. Because they're still slowed by the time your next Q is up, every single time. This fucking knack is annoying, I won't lie to you. Oh shit. What just happened? I just collected the bitch. I'm just gonna zone her. I collected her with red buff, unironically. I'm fucking- I'm such a pig, man. Like, I'm literally oinking all over myself. Ulti, ulti, press your ulti button! Nice. Jesus Christ, I played that fucking horribly at the end there. But that's like the- the issue with that build as well, is when it gets late game, you don't have the tankiness or the movement speed from Trinity, um, like the base movement speed that Trinity gives you on hit and shit like that to actually play the fights really easily. It's really hard to execute that build late game. But if you have CC on your team, if you have CC on your team, some kind of setup, bro, you just blow motherfuckers up, bro.